In my earlier two videos, we went over mind enhancement technology that can be used to help you unlock latent psychic ability. We touched on the scientific studies around the technology and what can be accomplished during a session. That people with natural psychic ability get stronger, more accurate, and more repeatable results. And that untrained people, or people who believe that they don't have the natural aptitude, learn to tune in to what comes into them sporadically. I had quite a few people chime in in the comments section about different random occurrences that happen to them, and yes, this will help you tap into it more frequently. For anybody that wants a more detailed scientific rundown of the technology and how it works neurologically, please check out Sacred Pathways by Todd Murphy. This is a fantastic book, and I highly recommend it. Go give Mr. Murphy some love, because he has put out a wonderful resource for all of us. As he states in the book, Without the binding factor in place, the brain has an opportunity to access new states of consciousness, and this makes it unusually sensitive to subtle phenomena, especially from the hippocampus. These phenomena can become more permanent if you exercise them. The range of your awareness can increase, and you will become aware of phenomena that have previously been too subtle to perceive directly. And this part is very important. Changing these skills so we can use them easily means exercising them. Spiritual practices like meditation or visualization exercises can have more and deeper effects after octopus sessions because these practices being based on right hemispheric excitement are affected when the binding factor in the right hemisphere is deflected by the signal. Very simply what this means is that the signal from the device targets the right half of the brain because the right half of the brain, the right hippocampus, amygdala, cingulate gyrus, occipital lobes, are the ones most associated with psychic phenomena. As the signal flows around the head, the binding factor is blocked. They run into one another. Um, one cancels the other one out on the right side of the head. On the other side of the head, it flows with the signal. The other one flows against it and blocks it. I've gained a bit of notoriety speaking about the gateway experience in Hemisync, and this technology is what you use to take it to the next level. Blocking the binding factor acts synergistically with any meditation or spiritual practice. Tarot readers, people who pray, people who do transcendental meditation, people who do uh, any kind of anything that you use to enhance yourself, this will allow you to get to a brain state where the true effects of those practices can come through. The commonality across all of them is the brain, is the hardware. And if you can augment the brain so that it doesn't work against itself, you can have much, much greater results.